Hi guys, welcome to another video. So today I've brought back my brother for another amazing recipe. We're making fish tacos and I'm going to guide you through five reasons why you should buy a set of gymnastic rings for your home workout setup. So reason number one, gymnastic rings are relatively cheap to buy. I got this set for only 50 euros delivered to my house and they are very good quality. Next up, they're super easy to put up, super easy to take down and very easy to store. I pack a set in my suitcase anytime I go on holidays and they fit into your backpack nicely if you want to just go and have a workout at the park. So what's your favorite workout to do at home? Comment below. Reason number two, they are very easily adjustable. This makes them great for beginner versions of exercises like the Australian row, like the assisted pull up, or even something like an incline push up. So if you're enjoying these videos, please hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed already, come and join the team. The easily adjustable nature of the gymnastic rings mean that they're not only good for beginner variations of exercises but also uh, variations to bridge the gap between beginner and intermediate and a whole host of intermediate and advanced exercises. Because of this, whether you're a complete beginner or an advanced practitioner, the gymnastic rings can still provide a challenging and effective workout. There's nobody who's too good to use the gymnastic rings, nor is there anybody who's not good enough. There's always a place to start and there is no finishing point. The exercises just keep going and keep going. They get harder and harder as you get better and better. Any sports fan will know that Olympic gymnasts are some of the most impressive athletes on the planet and the physique acquired from the gymnastic rings is incredible. Reason number three, the gymnastic rings can be a very effective tool in training the whole body, that is pulling movements, pushing movements and even the legs. I have effectively used the gymnastic rings for lower body training for both me and my students for quite some time now. I find them particularly effective in adding stability and volume to lower body exercises like the pistol squat or the shrimp squat. I have also used them for an effective tool for both lower body stretching and the upper body. Reason number four, because of the unstable nature of the gymnastic rings, they're an incredibly useful tool for building strong and stable shoulders. This also makes them very effective in building core strength. Stop the rings shaking and moving during exercises, there is an increased demand on core and stabilization muscles. This can be incredibly beneficial across many areas of strength development. And last but not least, reason number five and probably the most important one for me is that training with the rings is just fun, it's enjoyable, you know? Like when my four year old niece comes into the gym, the first thing she's going to gravitate towards is the gymnastic rings. And that's what drew me towards calisthenics in the first place, you know, aren't we all just big kids at heart? I saw these 
calisthenics athletes doing these amazing, impressive things with their own body weight. And I just thought, I want to be able to do that. You know, I want to have control over my own body. And the gymnastic rings is the ultimate example of that, you know. With very minimal equipment, the variety of exercises that you can do is endless. I've had this particular set of gymnastic rings for years now, and I've been using them day in, day out, week in, week out, and I'm still not getting bored. In fact, I'm only just getting started. What I've learned so far is just the tip of the iceberg, and with every new skill that I acquire, a sea of endless possibilities opens up in front of me. So if you do decide to add the gymnastic rings to your workout routine, let me know how it goes. And don't forget, Rome wasn't built in a day. Take your time, build up slowly, do your research, or contact a professional to show you how to use them. Speaking of fun, it's now time for our tacos and I know you're going to absolutely love this recipe. First off, get your ingredients ready and set them all out on the counter, ready to start. Our pickle is going to take the longest because it needs to cool afterwards, so we're going to do that one first. For the pickle, add all the ingredients together in a small pot, bring that to the boil on a medium heat, then switch it off and leave it to the side to cool down. So next up, we're going to prep our red cabbage and fennel slaw. Chop the two nice and finely and add to a nice big dish for mixing. Next, we're going to add a generous helping of salt and some lime juice to soften the vegetables. Here's a nice tip for your limes. Place them in the microwave for about 20 seconds before squeezing them. The juice comes out much easier that way. Once everything's in there, give it a nice thorough mix. Leave it aside for the salt and lime juice to work its magic. Next up is our mango chili salsa. Start by fine dicing your red chili, your red onion, your frozen mango and your fresh coriander. If you're not good with a knife, you could try adding all these ingredients into a food processor and giving it a quick blast. Try not to over chop them and maybe even add the coriander afterwards so it doesn't get discolored. To finish, add a fresh squeeze of lime juice and it's ready to go. Next up, we'll mix our spices with our corn flour and get the fish ready. Now this is a dry rub so we don't need to add anything other than our spice mix. Coat them evenly on all sides and they're ready to go. Once coated, we added ours to an air fryer at 200 degrees Celsius and cooked for 10 minutes. But times may vary on this depending on your appliance. Next up, we'll add our cucumbers into a little bit of the pickling liquor and give them a nice thorough mix. Next up, it's time to make our high protein guacamole. Dice up three cloves of garlic and half and core two avocados. Those are going into a food processor with 300 grams of Liberté yogurt, a small bunch of parsley and a small bunch of coriander. Last up is the juice of one lime. Give that a nice thorough mix until it's a smooth <laughs> consistency. Next up, we're making a nice big green salad for with our pickled cucumbers. I added some red onion and some nice fresh spinach. Now remember, this recipe makes only four portions, so only make as much salad as you need. The salad will taste much nicer if it's made as you eat it, and it doesn't take long to do. Chop up a bit of spinach, chop some onions, and add in your pickled cucumbers. So our final step is to prep our taco shells. For this, we used a dry pan on a medium heat, and cooked out our tortilla wraps until they were crisp enough to form a taco shell. It's time to check the fish, break a little piece open, see if it's cooked through, and we're ready to go. Remember this recipe makes four, so you can either wow three your family members with your amazing cooking skills, or save the rest for later. Assemble your tacos and serve with a nice big plate of salad. Enjoy guys.
Man, I'm not eating empty for once. <laughs> 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 Tacos or pizza? Comment below. So, I hope you enjoyed this recipe, guys. It's one of my absolute favorites. If you're not a lover of fish, swap it up for chicken, works just as well. Also, if you want to cut out some calories, we tried it with these brogies and they were amazing. Each one of those comes in at only 23 calories. So, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Please let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next, and I'll see you on the next one.